There's no doubt about it, Americans love to eat. But few of us are aware that all that food we consume on a day-to-day -day basis may be harmful or toxic to our health. Because of our failed free trade practices, contaminated food and medicine imports are a major concern in the United States. Free trade agreements with Peru, Panama, Colombia, and South Korea will bring a flood of seafood, beef, fruit, and vegetables from some 10,000 foreign producers. These agreements on food literally set limits on inspection, the level of protection, as well as requiring us to accept imports that don't meet our standards, but the country sending it says is good enough. The United States membership in the World Trade Organization has crippled our ability to inspect the potentially toxic food products that are shipped here every day. And the amount of imported food we now receive is staggering. 80% of the fish and shrimp we eat in this country is imported. 80% of seafood. 80% of all seafood. 80% of it shipped here from overseas. But less than 2% is inspected. It tests less than 2% of imported seafood. At a restaurant, ask the waiter or waitress, so where is this from? Is it farmed or fresh? And they'll go, huh? Huh, yeah. I mean Catfish from China, veterinary drugs. Swordfish from Vietnam, poisonous. Snapper from Malaysia, filthy. Oftentimes, we may not even know where our food is coming from. And consuming foods from uncertain origins can have uncertain results. Only 11% of beef, pork, and chicken imports are inspected at the border, even though those animals are sometimes raised in unsanitary conditions. And Public Citizen says Americans are three times more likely to be exposed to dangerous pesticides on imported fruits and vegetables than on domestic produce. So how dangerous are these chemicals? Scientists say over time, eating this tainted seafood could cause anemia, cancer, even birth defects. One of the things often found in this imported fish is a fungicide called malachite green. It's illegal to use in food because it causes cancer and birth defects. The WTO also ruled against dolphin safe labels on canned tuna and U.S. anti-dumping duties on shrimp from Asia. This video shot by a U.S. advocacy group shows dirty sewage water used to raise seafood in Vietnam. They even overruled our refusal to accept previously banned chicken products from China that are potentially hazardous to our health. Statistics would show that 5,000 Americans die every year from foodborne illnesses, and viral infection associated with seafood increased 78% from 1996 to 2006, a period when seafood imports skyrocketed. States that actually do perform rigorous inspections discover a frightening number of contaminants. Ron Sparks is the commissioner of Alabama's Department of Agriculture, one of the only states testing imported seafood for these dangerous drugs. In some cases, between 40 and 50 percent of our tests will come out positive. State tests in Oklahoma, Mississippi, and Georgia show similar results. Unfortunately, consumers can't tell if any of these compounds are, are in their seafood. You can't smell it, can't taste it, you can't cook it out. Would you consider this a public health threat? Well, absolutely. Without the ability to inspect the massive amount of imported food we are receiving, we are putting our family and our own safety at risk. Free trade is doing more than just damaging American agriculture. It is damaging Americans' health and something must be done. If it's from a foreign country, I'd be very cautious. I wouldn't need it.